Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. So in this video we will learn about search layout in Salesforce. So first let's see what we will learn in this video. First we will understand what is search layout in Salesforce. After that I will explain how does it works and then how to customize search layout in Salesforce. All these things I will cover in this video. For that watch the video till end and don't miss any topic. After that you can also able to create search layout in Salesforce. And if you are new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. So whenever you post any new video, you will get an update. Now without any delay, let's get started. So the search layout in Salesforce defined the fields and the actions that appear in the search result when the user search records. Also the search layouts can control what information is displayed when the searching for records in the global search and also it is used to display the fields as a column in the recently viewed list view. Now first let's understand some important points. So here the search layout we can configure per object basis. So let me show you. For that here I am navigating to the Salesforce org. Now in the global search here I am searching for the Alex. Now here you can see for the Alex here we have different results. So here first one we have one user which is Alex Kirk. As I hover pointer on the Alex Kirk here you can see in the result here we have username, then title, phone number and then email field. After that there are some related list and quick links. So the fields that we can see name, title, phone number and then email. And this one is the user record. Now as I scroll down here you can see here we have Alex Joy which is employee. That means this Alex Joy record is from employee object. And now in the search result you can see we have name which is Alex Joy. After that we have date of birth. Then we have one radio button, then joining anniversary and then we have domain field. Again as I scroll down, here you can see for this Alex Joy which is from account object for this record in the result here you can see here we have name which is Alex Joy, then account site and then rating fields. Now from here we can understand this the search layout configured per object basis. Now let's understand the second point. It configured based on the user relevance and it can be unique for every profile. So this one I will explain later. Then every object has a default layout and in that up to 10 fields can be added. So let's see where we can add 10 fields. So here we have so here we have search for the Alex. Then as I hover on this Alex Joy, here you can see. So first one is name, another one is date of birth, then third field is radio, fourth one is anniversary and then fifth one is domain. Like this we can add or display 10 fields in the search result. Then if the name field is text then it is mandatory and if it add a number it not mandatory. That means again let's jump to Salesforce org. So here in the search text if you are searching as per the name then in the search result the name field should be mandatory. And in the search text if you are searching for the ID or the number then in the result field it's not mandatory. After that, the search layouts respect the field level security. That means again, so for example in the employee object with these result fields you have added two more fields and for those two fields you don't have access then in the result also these fields will be not visible. Now let's understand how we can configure based on the user relevance and how the search layout can be unique for every profile. So for that we will customize the search layout in Salesforce. So here I am closing this one. To customize the search layout here I am clicking on gear icon then click on setup. After that click on object manager. Now as I open the important points here you can see the search layout configured per object basis. That means here we need to select for which object we want to set up the search layout. So. So in the quick find box here I am searching for employees. So this is the custom app that I created here I am opening the employee object. And then as I scroll down here you can see here we have one search layout option. Here I am clicking on this option. And now as I explained here you can see default layout. That means again we get to the points. Here you can see every object has a default layout and up to 10 fields can be added and also it configured based on user relevance and it can be unique for every profile. So here 
as we click on this search layout here you can see profiles as i scroll down here we have different profiles and every profile there is default search layout now for this object here we have default layout now as i click on this drop down then click on edit so in this selected fields we can add up to 10 fields so as we seen when we search for the alex at that time we can see his name date of birth radio joining anniversary and then domain now i want to remove this radio field so for that here i have selected this one then click on remove after that i want to add the email field here i am searching for email select this click on add again i also want to add joining date select this one click on add again i also want to add salary select it and then click on add so before saving this i also want to show you one another thing which is employee list view here you can see here we have recently list view and as i click on this employee object here you can see employee name date of birth radio joining anniversary and then domain so whatever the fields we have in the default layout those all fields displayed in the search result and also for the recently viewed list view now again we get to the search layout where we customizing the fields now after saving these fields only these fields will display in the search result and after that for recently list view also here i am scrolling down and then click on save again navigate to the employee tab or object let me refresh this one so it took some time to reflect the changes now here you can see employee name date of birth joining anniversary domain email joining date and then salary the fields that we added in the search layout those fields are displayed in the column of recently viewed list view now let me search for any employee so again here i am searching for alex as i hover pointer on the alex joy this time you can see in the result name date of birth joining anniversary domain email joining date and then we also have the salary so in this way the search layout works in the salesforce after that let me show you for the different profiles now as i scroll down so here i have created one custom profile which is manager here you can see now for this manager profile here i am changing the default layout for that click on drop down click on edit and now from here i want to display only two fields which is employee name and then email rest of the fields here i am removing these fields click on remove and then click on save now let's log in with the manager profile user for that click on setup in the quick find box search for the profiles because first we need to navigate uh, profiles so that we can easily get the users open the manager profile click on view users now here i am going to log in with this anderson jimmy or jimmy anderson click on login search for the employee object because for the employee object we have created the search layout here i am opening the employee object or employee layout then here you can see for the recently viewed here we have only employee name and then email now let me log out with this user so in this way we can set the search layout for the profiles and then using the search layout we can display the fields that we want to display in the search result and after that those fields also we can display on the recently viewed list view i hope you have understood what is search layout in salesforce how does it work and how we can customize the search layout in salesforce if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so whenever you post a new video you will get an update thank you